A toy store has 318 puzzles. It has 60 more action figures than puzzles. The store has 70 more toy cars than action figures. Write the number of each. Well, let's reread the problem and we're going to use a model to help solve it. A store has 318 puzzles. So we're going to use this bar right here. We're going to use this bar and this bar is going to represent puzzles. Rosette presents all the puzzles in the store and we know there's 318. Then when we read on, it has 60 more action figures than puzzles. So 60 more action figures. So let's, we're going to do another bar right here, and this is going to be action figures, action figures. And so the action figures, we know this, there are what? 60 more. So we're going to put 60 more. So the action figures is going to be equal to the puzzles, which is 318 plus the 60 action figures. Then, as we continue reading, the store has 70 more toys than action figures. 70 more toys than action figures. So, right here, this is going to be our toys. This is going to be our toys. And we know that it has what? 70 more toys than what? Action figures. And how much is the action figures? Well, it's all of this, which is the 318 puzzles plus the 60 action figures plus the 70 toys. That's going to be the total amount of each. So, our problem says this. Write the number of each. Well, for puzzles, that one's right here. That is 318. So we have 318. For action figures, action figures right here, that's going to be 318 plus 60. So let's do that calculation over here. For the action figures, we're doing the calculation 318 and we're going to add 60, so that's adding our 1's, that's 8 and 0, that's 8, and then our 10's, 110 plus 610, that's equal to 7 10's, and then we're going to add our 100's, that's going to be equal to 300, so 378. So we have 378 action figures, 378 action figures. For and that's this amount. That's this amount. That's all our action figures. 378. Because that's 318 plus 16 is 378. Now for the last one, the last one we want to know is toy cars. Where our toy cars is going to be equal to the 378 plus 70. So let's go ahead and do that calculation here. This is 378 and this is for our toy cars. And then we're going to add 70. So when we add our one columns, we have eight plus one is eight. And then when we add our tens column, seven tens plus seven tens, that's 14 10. And the way we're gonna write 14 is that we're gonna put four there and the 10 of 14 up here. And so that's 14 tens and 10 tens is 100. So really this is 100. So let's go ahead and add. We have 100 plus 300, that's equal to 400 or 448. That's how many toy cars we have is 448.